What's up, people? Welcome back to the 360 Places <laughs> podcast, and it's me, your host, Jason. And today we are with a good guest, a beloved friend, Panu. Uh, Panu is Nigerian, and it's actually his second time on the show. But the first episode that we did with Panu, unfortunately, it wasn't as good. The quality wasn't good. So we couldn't compromise quality and wanted you guys to, to get good content and good voice quality as well. So we decided to do another one. Panu, welcome back to the show. Hey, thank you. Thank you. How's everyone doing over here? Ah, I can't speak for the audience, but <laughs> I believe everyone is doing all right. Yeah. And I remember you taught me this pigeon saying last time we, we had this episode, you told me how how far now? Yeah, how far now? Uh, how you doing now? Yeah, I did do all right. Wait, I did do waiting fine. Waiting this up, waiting this up. Wow, now <laughs> you got me lost. <laughs> so guys, today we are talking about Nigeria. Uh, in the previous episode, actually in episode number seven, uh, it was living abroad and we had a Nigerian here. And we did talk a little bit about Nigeria, but today we're going to explore all those streets, all those places, so you get to know the culture, the people, and everything about Nigeria, as well as different perspectives on different things from Panu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, it, comes, it comes to my attention that not everyone is a patriot to his country. Not everyone loves their country as they claim that they love it. Yeah, yeah. And for the people who are patriots or not patriots to their country, they always blag about this one thing about their country, that it's maybe good or bad. But in this case, let's talk about the good. For example, if you ask me what, what is good about Tanzania, yeah, right, there are a lot of things that are good about Tanzania, but the best thing is that Tanzania, Tanzanian people have unity and they're very kind. That's like the unique trait of tanzanians yeah 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 very true so nigerians how would you put that like what's the best thing about the nigerian or being in nigeria you know being in nigeria is fun itself like mm. you know the fact that you're a nigerian or when you're in nigeria mm. you don't lack something to do for fun Nigeria is a fun, full country. That's why even you see we have a lot of artists and what, what, what. Yeah, yeah. Now you guys are Every packed. day what you see on the road is just like real natural drama. So you just <laughs> get to enjoy it. Like, <laughs> like in the movies, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get the fun, everything out of it. Because what you see every day is just the life. That it's just the know. life. Yeah. So it's actually the, the drama that happens every day. Mm. The drama that happens every day, the music, you know. Mm. Laughing, the yeah, the hustle, the way so everyone you, you, is aggressive. Yeah, you guys hustle for real. Man. Yeah, yeah, everyone is aggressive. We all need to make it. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like because you guys, are a big percent, I could say all of you, but let me just put it in this manner. Because yeah. a big percent of you guys hustle yeah, and the resources are not, are not adequate for everyone. Mm. So it just forces everyone to keep hustling. Because if you sleep, you ain't getting nothing. Yeah, very yeah. true. Like, you know, every day, Especially if you be become of age when you're 18. From 18 years above, everybody becomes a hustler because yeah. you don't want to request for anything from your parents. And yeah. at, as at that age, you feel like you own your future. So everyone, you become aggressive. Before you know it, everybody's like that. And so even the country itself, everyone you meet, they are all aggressive. They're trying to hustle. Mm. They need the money. The chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And you guys are all about your ladies. Because uh, I remember growing up, my favorite group, music group, was Peace Square. Yeah, yeah. And as far as I know, uh, these guys are not a group anymore. And that's just fact. Everyone knows that. And I had the reason they broke up mm. was because the brother wasn't happy with the wife of the little brother. And the, now he started defending his wife. Yeah. There, there are stories like that, you know. Like, especially for musicians, be with other musicians in Nigeria. Mm. Because you hear about David, o, David O and Whiskey, More Hits Record, you know, all mm. those people. Uh, the good thing at the end is they get to come back. Yeah. You know, for me, they were my, they were my best when I was growing up because uh, I, I have elder sisters mm. and those were their best music. So every day I hear them. Yeah, just hear I just like yeah, yeah. the fact that they sing, they dance, you know, mm. at the same time. It makes it interesting. Now, growing up, I used to like them, but when they had that fight, you know, 
everything and i was hearing different stories now you don't know which one to believe yeah true yeah but at the end is at the end i'll just say you know it's nice that you know they're still together even though they're fighting and what yeah. what what they're still together as brothers like yeah they still respect each other even when it comes to music you see even in the fight they didn't start singing tell, saying that nah, the other one is what what, mm, what you know true they still held their limit you know to everything so it's but nice I, I i i love that about nigeria mm. even like there's this one time a few months ago david and banner boy and something yeah. they, they had a problem yeah but later Despite their problems, Davido posted he, he tweeted or something. Mm. He posted uh congratulating Banabo on winning the, the the Grammys. The Grammys, yeah. Of which in Tanzania <laughs> it doesn't happen. When someone is beefing with someone, mm. oh, that that beef is gonna go on forever. Yeah. yeah. No, at the, for me I like them because at the end they always come back. Like mm. Davido's thirty billion concert, the whatever. You see, at that point, more hits came back together. You know, they even sang a song with the band, Don Jazzy, on the mm, same yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was something people were waiting for. It looked yeah. like it would never happen, but it happened. I think at the same time, is it Whiskey and who? They reconciled also. So it was a good year. So at the end, nice, nice. like, they all get to reconcile. And yeah. they tell you the truth. No, you're better than me. But that's it. Just the other day, M.I. and this other musician, Vector. They had a beef. It was serious. They were even singing this in each other. But right now, they even have a song together already this year. Nice, nice. So at the end, they come back. So that's yeah. what makes it interesting for me. Yeah, yeah. Because like they're hustling and they all need each other. Yeah. That that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And funny, you talked about uh, the musicians in Nigeria. So when I woke up, was it yesterday? It's yesterday or the day before yesterday, I woke up to this Nigerian story and it was just drama that happened online. Mm. So there's this Nigerian artist. He's an underground artist. I don't know if you know him. He calls himself Wise Kid. Yeah, I've not heard much about him. Mm. You know, I'm still trying to catch up with the news about him. Yeah. yeah. So so this guy, what he did... <laughs> So he 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 had it, he had he had his account on uh, Apple Music, iTunes and stuff. Yeah. So he was uploading music, his music. But a few months ago, mm. to date, he's got a lot of streams. Like streams go up. Yeah. His streams are compared to the biggest artists in Africa, not in Nigeria, in Africa. Wow. So people are, like started asking questions, and he even posted a screenshot of his ratings mm. on um, uh, iTunes. Like it's getting nine million streams a month Whoa. or something. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lo- that's a lot of streams, and he was getting a lot of money. Like every month, he was making something seventy k US dollars every month Whoa. from just the streams. So coming to the board, coming like to to, to investigate and see what what is up. Why is this underground artist getting a lot of streams? Yeah. They found out that he uploaded the albums, uh, Wizkid's album. Wow. On his <laughs> wow. on his account. And he just changed the name. Wow. Uh, yeah, and the arrangement and of when, songs. When you play the music, it's whiskey. Yeah, music. it's this is whiskey. He just changed the name. Wow. So wow. all the money he was getting. It's for someone else. Yeah, it's for someone else. Wow. And Niger- I, I think Nigerians have lived have lived up to the to the standard that has been set yeah. for them that they're that they're, they're con artists. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, those guys when you're not smart smart enough they're gonna take your money and yeah, stuff. yeah yeah and from this story a nigerian just called a nigerian mm. yeah yeah you see okay you see the okay there's no good part in it huh? mm. but let's say the good part in it since we said we we're talking about the good parts mm. is whiskey is a millionaire already mm, he's yeah. enjoying the music but you see for that guy who is conning uh definitely there might be something that might have push him to do that yeah. because there are a lot of broke niggas on the streets yeah yeah there are lots you know with a with a country like that that is that its population it's big ah, you guys are a, lo- yeah. a lot of people you get a lot of people trying to hustle if, maybe like, he, he, was, proceed, he was being if, funny yeah but that was his own way of making the money but you see it's it's wrong well, it's, it's wrong yeah it's very wrong like i know whiskey won't keep quiet about it yeah. and even the nigerian music federation won't keep quiet about it because yeah. the, they handle things like that wow yeah and before before you b- before you, you actually went on the whisk whiskey's matter you talked something about the population yeah yeah if my geography is if my geography is still on point yeah 
Tanzania and Nigeria have the same uh, landmarks. Uh, I, I wanted to say like how big is how big Nigeria is is, mm. is equal to how big Tanzania is. Yeah, the the area. Yeah, the area. Yeah. yeah. But you guys are three times as we are. Yeah, very true. <laughs> yeah, so the hustle gets real if if you like just if you sleep, yeah. like I said earlier. Yeah. Nothing See, is from from the last uh what the last census that happened in Nigeria. It says that Nigerians are almost two hundred and the population, the estimated one, it's mm. like two hundred and six million. Wow. That's a lot. And you know, if you come to the reality, it's even more down. And that census was yeah. from two thousand and six. Wow. This is twenty twenty one. Wow, you guys must be like almost uh, four four hundred million or something. Yeah, who know? We're just waiting to see the next one. <laughs> <I will be. laughs> <laughs> and you guys have have the biggest number of twins in your in your yeah yeah, in yeah. Your country yeah. yeah like in the whole world. I think you you guys are leading yeah. And in the streets, you could see a lot of twins when you're just like moving around. Yeah, see, so it's 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 okay. It's something. You know, there are some things that can just happen without control. Hmm. Yeah. So those are things like that. You just see it and yeah. When you watch comedies, you know, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you just see it. So mm. something nice there. Yeah. Wow, nice. And um last time when we had a conversation with Panu on this podcast, it was interesting because they talked about um how Nigerians party, and we, we're gonna talk about the nightlife, <laughs> guys. I know you guys have been waiting to hear about the nightlife in Nigeria. Now we get into it. Panu told me that Nigeria is more like Nairobi, but Nairobi is super hyped. Uh, those are not his words, I'm just explaining what I think I had. Mm. So he says it's like every day, but mostly weekends, Nigerians party hard. Yeah. And it's not just one one, one yeah. spot; it's multiple spots. People are there. Yeah, every yeah. day is a good day to party. Like every day, yeah. you know, because uh, when you when you're done with the work for that day, you have people who make money every day, and mm. so because they make money every day, they have to celebrate yeah. every day. And for <laughs> them to celebrate yeah. every day, they have to drink every day. Yeah. So they party every day. But if you want to see the real life, you know, from a weekend, like from a Thursday evening. Mm properly to friday you know when most of the people walking are done with their work for that day yeah. you you'll really see it because everybody's resting everybody's trying to chill and relax they don't need stress you know you you find people just <laughs> chilling you know it's it's life yeah it's life yeah. it's the weekend by the way so you won't find like just a spot you know like for example when you're in Eldoret, you talk about club timba you find most people talking about that place alone no like when you're going to a spot, you find even the na- the neighboring spot there. Yeah, it's also a party. Yeah. The next one, like so that, every like place that. is packed. Every place is packed. People are relaxing. Good life. Nice, nice. Yeah. And for maybe from from for for a tourist, yeah, like someone like me, I'm not Nigeria. So when I got Nigeria, if I'm not going to live there or study there, yeah, then I'm going like for for a travel experience. Mm-hmm. Isn't this bad news? like spots are packed because not all people like uh packed places uh it's it's not bad news mm. because if when i say places are packed it's not like they're very full i just mean like everywhere is busy you know you mm, see the yeah, hustle okay you know you can't say oh i've lacked a place to go to oh, oh sure. yeah because when you anyway you just look at it somewhere you can go yes. to and just lack and have so, a good time yeah so it's not like they're packed but i mean they're busy you know yeah, you won't lack, you know, as I, 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 you, you won't say, oh, you need even someone to tell you how somewhere is because you're seeing it. You can mm. just enter this place, and if you don't like this one, you just move to the next one since nice. you're all facing each other. But anyone you enter, trust me, you have fun there. That's a good one. No one is shy or scared of another person. You mm. know. The mentality is just there. You're just let's there have to, like fun. have a good time. Yeah, that's nice. So, guys, if you plan to go to Nigeria and you want to party hard. Then every day is a good day for you. But Thursdays to Sunday, that's the dates you want to go out in Nigeria. And uh, last episode, again, when we were, when we had this episode with a panel, he talked about this amazing thing that happens. I think it's every year. So you find a lot of fishermen fishing in the same spot. Over a thousand fishermen. I would like to like know more about that experience. Uh yeah. 
the Argungung is a okay, it's a festival no, called okay. the Argungung Fishing Festival. You know, it's a festival or they call it a dance festival. It's annual, you know, four day festival in the state of nice. KB. Nice. You know, as I told you the other time, Nigeria is divided into, you know, states. You know. Yeah, so in a state called KB in the northwestern part of northern Nigeria. The region is made up of fertile river areas, nice, you know, nice, nice. like the Mala, the Matan, the Amfada. Oh, you guys the, are out of the Mara too. Yeah, the Gamji, nice, nice. which the uh, much irrigation and orchard, you know, the bam, the lumbu mm. for Hausa, where mm. they grow those vegetables. Is it Hausa like water. okay? Is it Hausa like su- superstition or something? Uh no 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 Hausa is the language and it's also huh. a people you know <laughs> based on the definition <laughs> okay and the majority Hausa's... of people there you know are usually yeah. fishermen mm. so and they are followers of Islam and also farmers huh. so like the Angugu festival it's done you know where people meet they do a lot of fishing like a lot of fishing wow nice yeah so if you like you know something you want to be there because it happens once in a year yeah and you can imagine going to uh let me just say very big river that has more than 1000 fishermen all getting fish and a lot of fish not just one or two when i say a lot mm. imagine how beautiful that is you know yeah and somehow it's sharing yeah it's with very, the, the sharing it's very... nature that's a lot of like it's it happens once in a year and everybody knows about it you know if especially for people who come there to mm. like tourists yeah they get to see this beautiful thing. So it's four days of fishing. Yeah, wow, four nice, days of fishing. Nice, nice. Every year. Yeah, and and as a tourist or just someone who loves to explore Nigeria, yeah, when you go there and travel, you know, like when you go in, in any other place, not only Nigeria, yeah, you'd want to meet the locals, mm. you know, like salute, get to know them and stuff. Yeah. How are the Nigerian vibes? Because for for Tanzanians, they're mm. very welcoming to, mm. to tourists. And especially white, I uh, think that they're laces or something. Right? Mm. Especially white mm. people, <laughs> they're treated properly. So how 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 is it with Nigerians? Uh, Nigeria, the way me I see Nigeria no. as a Nigerian, you know, with everything that has been happening, no one cares. It's not like we are welcoming, but we welcome you in that welcoming manner, and it ends there. There is no one who cares if you're a foreigner. They won't start checking if you no know, you've come with oh. this if you've done with that even the immigration i don't think they are that aggressive they're aggressive yes but i don't think they really they will really disturb you you know when it comes oh. to that so as a as a tourist if you're from tanzania when you go to nigeria everyone will see you as a nigerian oh so they'll okay. treat you as a nigerian as a they'll nigerian. be welcoming to you if you're supposed to do this let's do this if you're not supposed to do it don't do it that's just it no one will be disturbing you you know because you're a tanzanian because you know like the whites Mm. I don't see people really caring, you know. They're they're doing their work, you also they're hustling. Mm, you yeah. don't really yeah. It's for me I, I take it like that. Maybe it's not like that, but for me I've well, always seen which means yeah, yeah it's like for that. Me, I yeah. see it like that. Yeah. And it's it happens like that. Yeah. Yeah, so But isn't that a uh, disadvantage, maybe? It's, okay, in this aspect. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's good for you to see me as a Nigerian when I'm in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. But again I would need that f- foreigner um foreigner like foreigner look for you to look to see me as a foreigner mm-hmm. for you to give me those uh advantages of a foreigner for example mm-hmm. in the in the in the episode number seven mm-hmm. we talked with um stan the, the other nigerian yeah yeah so we had this rather interesting conversation yeah he said when you're a foreigner in a country with girls it's just a high pass for you it's mm-hmm. easier for you to even like get a good looking lady because you're just a foreigner. Yeah. Yeah. Don't and you, how is that in Nigeria, like with the girls? No, you you'll get something like that, definitely. You'll get like Nigerian ladies are especially if you have money, when everybody's trying to hustle <laughs> for the money. Yeah. yeah. They'll come. Like a lot of them they'll come. You get all those advantages and what what what. But still, like okay, like for the other gender, you know, see now they won't really share. Which is a good thing for you because for me, a foreigner in another country, sometimes it's difficult, especially when you want to go out. You notice that the police can just, the cops can just stop you and ask you questions just because you're a foreigner. Mm. You know, you dress like a Nigerian, they, they just know you're a Nigerian, they begin mm. to harass so, uh, you somehow, you know, things like that. It's not nice. 
Yeah, true. Imagine if you're in a country where even when you dress, they can't start treating you, yeah, you know, yeah, somehow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just free to do anything you want. You will get the privileges of being a foreigner. That one you will get it. Yeah. But also, you will have that feeling of that being feeling. at home yeah. that you don't wow, nice. feel like oh you're in a different place. You know, nice. you'll just fit in nicely. Oga, oh, you're welcome now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there was Oga. Okay, I hear that a lot. Oga is just boss, like boss, you know. Boss. Yeah. Wow. Oga. Oh, oh. Yes, it's Nigeria. I see from the last episode we had. Yeah. You know, Nigeria, they love respect and you know things like that. Yeah. It's not like showing off, but it's there. So when uh, so everybody when you, can just when you go in clubs, people are, they're yeah. chopping money. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you don't have money, don't go. <laughs> 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 because you you can even. You know, you can feel so sad when you're there and people are spraying money, you know, mm. making use of their money and you don't have any to even show around. So so when it comes to spending money and showing that you get money, Nigeria is... Uh, yeah, yeah. There are people who make the money silently. You don't know mm. but uh, A Nigerians, lot of Nigerians, yeah. yeah. That's why you hear about them every day because if they're somewhere, you will just know the way <laughs> you start spending money, you know. Yeah, yeah. and showing it off. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it wouldn't be fair talking about Nigeria without talking about the Nigerian. Of course, we did talk about the Nigerian music, but we didn't talk about it in the way we we're going to talk about it. Mm. Uh, so Nigeria has a lot of artists, like you said. Yeah. It seems like every day there's a new artist on the game, and most of the Nigerian artists, they're really doing well, um, both in Nigeria and Africa and international levels. Talk about uh, these kids just, just came up last year and this year that they're, they're doing well and they're getting uh, awards they're getting features with big artists of which is really good yeah so from a nigerian perspective i know if, if you ask a uh, non-nigerian let's say for me tanzanian i would have a different list of big artists than you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so i would like to, to to like get a list from you of big artists in nigeria at least from my big artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like top five. Mm, I like uh Two Face music. Two Face Baba. Yeah. Like uh growing up, he has been my one of my best musicians, you know. Because when you listen to his music, he it's like he tells you something that you want to hear sometimes, yeah. You see like African Queen. That music, it's it rated very well in Africa. Very when it was there, because you know it showed even in the video, it showed like it showed the true beauty of an African woman, like you know with shaving, no hair and what, but yeah, African, but you know, something like that. By the way, African women are beautiful. Yeah, yeah very and very like, beautiful. They're not only beautiful with the face, but even body wise. Yeah. Body man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's very true. So like for me, he has been my best. So African, if I if I'm to give you five. Hmm. Uh, African Queen will be there. There is this Amaka, the song Amaka. Amaka is from artist, um, name of the artist. It's the same artist, Two Face. Two Face. Yeah, there is ah, Oppo. Oppo. Oppo is the one I used to like, like beginning it's from, last year. Uh, Two Face. Yeah, from Two Face <laughs> also. Oppo. <laughs> okay, then, all we get is Two Face. Yeah, 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 but if you want more, I can give you from different, yeah. like, you know. When we start talking so about, so like in Nigeria, let's say like when you when, when you get in Nigeria, who is the biggest artist? Like maybe I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a tourist. Mm. I don't know much about Nigeria, mm. and it's your job to tell me about Nigeria. Mm. And maybe I I asked about the music. Which name comes first? Like if I'm gonna mention this guy, mm. he's gonna represent me properly. Even if this guy goes later and does the session, mm. yeah. Uh, okay. Just one artist. If if you ask me. Yeah. And the first person that will come to my head will be Davido. Nice, mm? nice. Like it will be him, but there are a lot. Like I don't know if you if I'm asked yeah. to compare between him, Whiskey, Bonaboy. By the way, that was the trick. You know, I just wanted you to compare Whiskey yeah, and Davido yeah. because I knew that those two names are gonna come up in your mind. Yeah, now I need yeah, to yeah. know like who is your favorite you see, between for the two. For me, it will be him because you know, I like his music and I have there's sometimes that you know there's something that he does that I see myself in it. So I'll say it's him. Or for others, it will be whiskey, and they'll have mm. their own reasons and good yeah, points true. that you can't, you know. Brothers defeat. be born and born. Yeah, mm. people just have what they want. If you ask me, growing up, it won't be mm. Davido. 
Like, my best would have been maybe P-square or Two-Face. In fact, till today, I love Two-Face and everything. There are people that when they sing, people like Terry G. You know, I don't know why his music is not known these days. Uh, but I, I, I even yeah, there is some points that he was the best. Like, his dancing and what's the music. You know, for me, he was the best. I used to mm. like, you know, his vibe. Then it became Timaya at some point, you know. Oh, oh. Yeah. So every musician has it. Mm. Like, I, there's a time that, you know, you like them. You know, I just feel like now it's Davido, Whiskey, Whiskey, you know, these people. Boy, and yeah. they're doing well. They're actually yeah, doing well. well. So it has to be them, you know, up there. But for me to be a Davido. Okay. Yeah. So um, another thing. Uh, for me, before we drift out of the music, the musicians' uh discussion. Yeah. For me, it's uh Tem Tem, Tems 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 is she's the best artist from Nigeria for me. Yeah, a female artist. Yeah, female artist. I will go with um, Wiz Kid. Yeah, you see, I won't blame you, because for you, the music, the type of yeah, music the type of music sings, she sings, it sings, captures yeah, your attention yeah. just the way you Very like much, it. Very yeah. much. So I, I I will do. You know, when you it's, listen it's to her some damages. Yeah. Oh, you know, tr- was yeah, was something. Yeah. Try me, you know, luku, all those songs. Luku, are, luku. Yeah, yeah. yeah I listen to those songs also, yeah. but you know, I have my mood for them. So, yeah, yeah she sings well too. So if you say she's your best, yeah. uh, come, I can't argue with you yeah, on that. Yeah. She, she, she's, At least. she's very good. Yeah. And uh, before we, what time is it? Before we actually wind up with Panu, uh, Panu and I have discussed that we're gonna have. A four-way episode. I know you guys have have listened to the episode number seven that was a three-way. By the way, I want you to to tell me down in the comments below if if you loved the three-way podcast or if you still want to hear the two-way podcast. You let me know. As well as we're gonna try a four-way podcast. Uh, we're gonna have Panu by the way on the four-way podcast. We're yeah. gonna have people from four different nations sharing their perspectives, and we get to hear all those different perspectives from different nations. You know. Growing up in a country also shapes you as a person. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and the way you go about things is very true. Yeah. Very true. No, it's gonna be great. Um, actually, I can't really wait for that for your yeah. podcast because yeah. I, I I feel like it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Getting to you know hear from people who come from different places, yeah, like yeah. other nations, yeah. you know, and then you dare, you know. Yeah. It's it's gonna be fun. It's actually, nice. Yeah. Like it's even nice that. You know all the stories that I had about Nigerians before meeting in Nigeria. Yeah. And all those stereotypes that I had. Now I'm just confirming. Oh, so Nigerians. Oh, Larry, they they behave this way. Oh yeah. no, this one is not true. This one is true. So yeah. it's interesting to you, actually. You, yeah. you get to be the judge of yourself because yeah, you know before going to Nigeria, they tell you, you meet a lot of con people. So you feel like even when you arrive in Nigeria, some mm. everyone you meet At is the airport, con man. Is but you get to know that it's not mm. all of them that are the same. Like you know. Yeah. The way they can just say oh, all Nigerians in Nairobi are criminals. Then you mm. go to Nairobi, you meet other Nigerians that, they that treat cool, you, yeah. you know, in a way that you don't even feel like you deserve. Then you wonder, is it true is that it they true are all they criminals? Yeah. You know, yeah. things like that. It it makes it interesting. So me, I, I really wait that pod, that podcast. Okay, people, let us know down in the comments. We already have one spot filled. That's a Nigerian. Tell us which other country you'd like. To hear from is it a south african is it a person from zimbabwe is it a malawian you just let us know and we'll bring them in the show and you got to hear them share their thoughts uh so this is the 360 places podcast where we make travel accessible for each and every one of you if you haven't if you're watching this on youtube and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and please like comment share because it literally helps us grow here on youtube and as well as other platforms and yeah, if your Instagram as well, you could follow us uh at the three sixty no at three sixty places podcast. It's just three sixty places. The S is a Z. Yeah. And we are signing out. Uh if you have anything to say. Uh uh yeah, I'll wish everyone a good day. Mm. And then I wish them to have fun because every day is a fun day. The way yeah. you know me, yeah. every day I'm, tr- you know. <laughs> By the way, your father is a very hyped person. Yeah, I, hyped. I, I, li- I like being happy. I love being happy. Yeah. So if there's anything that I'll want to say to people is remain happy. Yeah, stay Make happy. Make sure you're man. happy every day. If, if you're happy every day, you won't even realize when you have problems. Oh, nice. Uh, this is sign out. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>